Bothell. Would you live here? We have a fabulous new listing coming on the market and I want to show you around. Another episode of Would You Live Here? This is an amazing home that offers over 3,000 square feet of interior living space and the potential for a mother-in-law ADU or apartment downstairs. Let's take a look. The home is situated in East Bothell, close to Woodenville, kind of the formerly unincorporated area near Highway 9. And we have a wonderful feeling of being in the woods with this lot. It is a huge wooded lot. Uh, as you look out the windows, you see trees. You do not see into your neighbor's kitchen. So I really like that about the house. There is an oversized two-car garage. And as you come in, you are greeted with some really nice finishes on the interior. The whole home was extensively remodeled in 2008, and it looks fantastic. So here, in as you come into the house, you'll see the beautiful living room, and there's room for a TV, fireplace, a baby grand piano. In addition, there's a formal dining room, and in the back, one of my favorite spaces, just a wall of windows and skylights. What a great place to enjoy the outdoors, and especially since it's visible from the kitchen. You could be sitting here in the kitchen making all sorts of food and enjoy looking out these windows in all directions. If you'd rather look at people's smiling faces though, we've got you covered because there is a wonderful uh, breakfast bar here that actually can seat eight people, if you can believe it. So your whole you know, friends, family, group, whoever you're entertaining could sit here, keep you company, drink a glass of wine, maybe your kids are doing homework, whatever the case may be, there are a lot of options for dining here. I hope you like food. Now adjacent to this sunroom is a wonderful large deck with, uh, you can grill out here, there's room for a picnic table, and it really overlooks the, the treed area, a wonderful space to enjoy outdoors. Off of the kitchen, you'll find this huge office, which is just amazing. So many people are working from home now. I do wanna add that if you wanted to, this could very easily be a third bedroom. I imagine that it was at some point. It has a door to the hall and the closet, so you could easily put a wall up here and have a third bedroom if that's your preference. Now, leaving these more public spaces upstairs, let's tuck down the hall and see what else is back here. We have a great full bathroom with uh, plenty of counter space, the shower, and then coming into the back, we have two bedrooms upstairs. We have the master bedroom suite, which has room for not only the bed and closet, but a nice large window looking out into the woods. I don't know how many times I have shown houses where the window is like, you can't open it when you're in the bedroom in your pajamas because all the neighbors will see or all the cars will see you as, as they're driving by. So I really like the privacy that this master bedroom affords. The other bedroom is fantastic too. Uh, not only does it have all the basics, it has a huge glass sliding door. So if you wanted to use this as a workout space potentially or an office space potentially, you could really open that up in the summer, get that fresh breeze coming in from the woods, uh, just something to enjoy and certainly lots of light at any time of day. Let's head downstairs and see what this space is like. There are so many options down here. It has two bedrooms, a full kitchen, and a large flex space. Now, this could very easily be something that you rented out a few rooms. It has its own private entrance. It has its own private driveway. So if you are inclined to house hack, have a roommate, have family that stays for months and months, have a nanny that needs to take kids in and out without bothering you upstairs, you have a lot of options with this floor plan. If that doesn't appeal to you and you don't want any strangers in your house, ah, I totally get it. So you could easily use this as a wonderful rec space. I imagine all sorts of people coming down here to play cards, to watch movies, on, to play, you could have a pool table, foosball, all sorts of games and hobbies could take place down here. And it is absolutely huge. You could even uh, turn it into a home gym and run laps around the downstairs. You could really get a lot of exercise. 
Now down this hallway, much like the other hall, uh, two bedrooms and a laundry room and three quarter bath. They've got a shower, right? So lots of counter space in this bathroom, very uh, spacious bath. And then the laundry room has room for a full washer and dryer, as well as the furnace, which is here, which was installed in 2009. If you do like a cooler environment, there's a house attic fan as well, which really can pull cool air through the house, especially in the summer. A lot of us don't have air conditioning. It's great to have all these little tricks as far as knowing when to pull the cool air in from the outside and then when to close off the windows and trap that cold air in during the heat of the day. Before we wrap up, I'm sure you're curious about the yard. This house has a wonderful lot. It's been very nicely landscaped and it is low maintenance. If you look around, you will notice there is no grass for you to mow here. The woods keep things relatively cool and shaded. Uh, you can put down bark, maybe do a little weeding once in a while, but there is a lot less to do in this type of landscaping. We've got hardscape with the patio, the gravel, we've got wood chips, and we've got shade, all of which can help create a cool, soothing ambiance, as well as less lawn to take care of you know what i'm saying so back in the back we have a wonderful space to uh, go read you know i just imagine running away to the woods and kind of having my alone time out here on a beautiful sunny day there's also a covered patio so if again you know if you wanted to enjoy some space through the the glass door here you can come outside and set up your patio furniture and this is covered so it's not going to get wet down here in addition, there's wiring. When they put in the uh, kitchen, they put in enough wiring for a hot tub. So if you did ever want to install a hot tub, that should be relatively easy. Now, I do want to talk about RV parking because for some people, they have their boat, their RV, their ski doos their motorcycles. Maybe they're going to repair things. They have a hobby. I have another client who is, you know, repairs Volkswagens as a hobby so he's looking for the perfect spot i'm going to tell him about this one because uh, if you wanted to build a an additional garage or shed back here at the end of the driveway i think there would be room but we have such a wide flat gravel driveway here this could probably fit three cars across uh, and easily long enough for an rv and or a boat you know possibly multiple things and this comes right out onto 228th so it's a, a straight shot onto the road there's a backup area as well if you should so desire so wow i hope you have enjoyed this amazing home tour would you live here i hope so we have more information available on our website or if you call so make sure that you visit us and schedule your own private viewing I'm Emily Cressy. I'm a real estate agent with HomeSmart Real Estate here in the Seattle area. I do a lot of business in Bothell. And if I can help you buy or sell your home, I would love to help. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one and make sure you come out and see us here in Bothell.